Have you ever wondered where the Kung Fu stars that lit up our screens back in the day are now, or what they're doing? From Hong Kong star Jackie Chan, known for his role in Drunken Master, to Korean martial artist Huang Zhang Li, who starred alongside Jackie Chan in Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, here are 25 best Kung Fu stars mind-blowing changes. Bruce Lee Bruce Lee was a Hong Kong American martial artist and actor known as the most influential martial artist of all time. Lee's father, Lee Hoi Chuen, was a Cantonese opera star. As a result, Junior Lee was introduced to the world of cinema at a very young age. Lee's first film role came at an early age when he appeared as a child actor in the 1941 film Golden Gate Girl in Hong Kong. As a nine-year-old, he co-starred with his father in The Kid in 1950, which was based on a comic book character, Kid Chung, and was his first leading role. By the time he was 18, he had appeared in 20 films. Bruce Lee's top films include Low Ways the Big Boss, Fist of Fury, The Way of the Dragon, Golden Harvest, Enter the Dragon, and The Game of Death. A few months after the completion of Enter the Dragon, and six days before its release on July 26, 1973, Lee died tragically at the age of 32. Enter the Dragon went on to become one of the year's highest grossing films and cemented Lee as a martial arts legend. Jackie Chan Fang Shalong, popularly known as Jackie Chan, is a Hong Kong actor, director, writer, producer, martial artist, and stuntman known for his slapstick acrobatic fighting style, comic timing, and innovative stunts. Before entering the film industry, he was one of the seven little fortunes from the China Drama Academy at the Peking Opera School, where he studied acrobatics, martial arts, and acting. Chan has been acting since the 1960s, performing in more than 150 films. Chan's first major film role came in Big and Little Wong Tin Bar as a child actor. However, it was his breakthrough performance in the 1978 kung fu action comedy film Snake in the Eagle's Shadow that made him famous. He then starred in similar kung fu action comedy films such as 1978's Drunken Master and 1980's The Young Master. Some of his top films include Project A, Rumble in the Bronx, Rush Hour, the Legend of Drunken Master, and Shanghai Noon. He holds the Guinness World Record for most stunts by a living actor. In 2001, he was inducted into the Martial Arts History Museum Hall of Fame. Jackie Chan remains active in the film industry, both as an actor and a producer. His latest film role was in the 2023 film Ride On, before teaming up with John Cena in the 2023 Chinese-American co-production Hidden Strike. Jet Li, Li Lianji, popularly known as Jet Li, is a Chinese-born Singaporean martial artist and actor known for his stunningly fast and precise movements and mastery of wushu, which have earned him a place among the greatest kung fu stars. After retiring from competitive wushu at age 18, Li transitioned into acting and became an actor, making his debut with the film Shaolin Temple, which instantly catapulted him to stardom in East Asia. The sequel, Kids from Shaolin became 1984's highest grossing film in China. He went on to star in many hit films, most notably as the lead in Zhang Yimou's hero, Fist of Legend, the first three films in the Once Upon a Time in China series, in which he portrayed folk hero Wang Fei Hung and Fearless. His first role in a non-Chinese film was as a villain in Lethal Weapon 4 and his first leading role in a Hollywood film was as Han Singh in Romeo Must Die. He has gone on to star in many international action films, including Kiss of the Dragon and Unleashed. He co-starred in The One and War with Jason Statham, The Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Chan, the first three of The Expendables films with Sylvester Stallone, and as the title character villain in The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Although Jet Li has slowed down his film appearances in recent years due to health concerns, he remains active in the industry. His most recent major film role was in Disney's live-action adaptation of Mulan, where he played the Emperor of China, Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen is a Hong Kong actor, filmmaker, martial artist, and action director. Yen developed an interest in martial arts at a young age and began experimenting with various styles, including Tai Chi and other traditional Chinese martial arts. 
At age 18, he auditioned for action choreographer Yuen Wu Ping in Hong Kong. He landed his first starring role in the 1984 Hong Kong martial arts action film Drunken Tai Chi. He made his breakthrough role as General Naplan in Once Upon a Time in China 2, opposite Jet Li. He went on to appear in several other notable Hong Kong Kung Fu films, including Iron Monkey and Wing Chun. He is best known for portraying Wing Chun Grandmaster IP Man in the IP Man film series, starring in IP Man, IP Man 2, IP Man 3, and IP Man 4, the finale. Donnie Yen is still very active in the film industry, continuing to take on roles that showcase his martial arts abilities. His most recent appearance was in John Wick, Chapter 4, where he played a pivotal role in the action-packed series. In May 2024, it was reported that Yen would star in a John Wick spin-off movie around his assassin character Kane. Michelle Yeoh, Yo Chu Kang, popularly known as Michelle Yeoh, is a Malaysian actress. She rose to fame in the 1980s and 1990s after starring in Hong Kong action films where she performed her own kung fu stunts. Michelle's first film role came in, The Owl vs. Bombo, but she became popular after starring in the film Yes Madam. The film launched her career as one of the leading action stars in Hong Kong. Other films in which she performed her stunts are Magnificent Warriors, Police Story 3, Super Cop, The Heroic Trio, Tai Chi Master, and Wing Chun. After moving to the United States, Yeo gained international recognition for starring in the James Bond film Tomorrow Never Dies and in Ang Lee's martial arts film Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, for which she was nominated for the BAFTA Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role. Michelle Yeoh is still active in the industry, although she is no longer acting as an action star. In 2022, she won an Academy Award for Best Actress for her film role in Everything Everywhere All at Once. In May 2024, Yeoh was cast in a lead role as a replicant alongside Hunter Schaefer in the Amazon science fiction television series Blade Runner 2099. She is also set to star as Madame Morrible in the two-part film adaptation of the musical Wicked, directed by John M. Chu, with part one released on the 22nd of November, 2024, and part two slated for November 26, 2025. Tony Jaa, Achikorn Yiram. Popularly known as Tony Jaa or Ja Phanom, is a Thai martial artist, actor, action choreographer, stuntman, and director best known for his martial arts films. Before becoming a leading actor, Tony Ja began training in Muay Thai at his local temple at age 10. According to Ja, he fought professionally as a Muay Thai fighter when Pana Ritikrai saw him and asked him if he would like to do stunts in one of his films. Ja worked as a stuntman for Muay Thai Stunt for 14 years, appearing in many of his mentor Pana Ritikrai's films. His Thai films include Ong Bak, Muay Thai Warrior, which earned him a Star Entertainment Award, Tom Yum Goong, which earned him a Sufana Hong National Film Award, Ong Bak 2, The Beginning, Ong Bak 3, and Tom Yum Goong 2. After leaving the Thai movie company Sahamong Kol Film International in 2013, Ja signed with Universal Studios and focused more on an international fan base. Since then, he has appeared in films like Furious 7, SPL 2, A Time for Consequences, and Master Z, IP Man Legacy. His most current film role is as Decha in Expendables. Samo Hung. Samuel Hung is a Hong Kong actor, martial artist, film producer, and director, known for his work in martial arts films, Hong Kong action cinema, and as a fight choreographer for other actors such as Kim Tai Chung, Jackie Chan, Yuen Biao, and Yuen Hua. Hung is one of the pivotal figures who spearheaded the Hong Kong New Wave movement of the 1980s, helped reinvent the martial arts genre, and popularized the zombie-like Zhang Shi genre. Hung has starred in 75 films and worked on over 230. Hung started his career as a child actor and appeared in several films for Cathay Asia and Bobo Films during the early 1960s. His film debut was in the 1961 film, Education of Love. In 1962, 
He made his first appearance alongside Jackie Chan in the film Big and Little Wong Tin Bar, followed by a role in The Birth of Yue Fei. However, he became popular for his performance in The Iron-Fisted Monk, which showcased his comedic timing and martial arts prowess. His other top films include Knockabout, Warriors 2, The Prodigal Son, and the In the Line of Duty series. He is also well known for his work in Swordsman 2 and the beloved Mr. Vampire, which blended horror and comedy with martial arts. He remains active in the industry, continuing to contribute to film and television projects. His most recent roles include appearances in The Expendables 3 and The Legend of the Condor Heroes. Dragon Lee Moon Kyung Seok, popularly known as Dragon Lee, is a South Korean actor and martial artist. He made a name for himself as a martial arts film star in the 1970s and 80s. Dragon Lee studied Taekwondo with friend and actor Kim Tai Chung, who was Bruce Lee's double in the final scenes of Game of Death. He became popular in the 1970s and 1980s as one of the notable martial arts stars. Dragon Lee is particularly known for his ability to perform acrobatic stunts and his resemblance to the legendary Bruce Lee, which helped him carve out a niche in the industry. Dragon Lee's first major film role came in The Dragon Lives Again, where he capitalized on the Bruce Lee craze by portraying a character reminiscent of the iconic martial artist. He gained further popularity with films such as The Last Dragon and The Devil's Express. Some of his other notable works include The Secret Rivals series and The Return of the Dragon. Dragon Lee moved back to Seoul and is now a television actor and producer. He also heads a national actors association, Bolo Young. Young Si, popularly known as Bolo Young, is a Hong Kong former competitive bodybuilder, martial artist, and martial arts film actor. Young began his martial arts training at the age of 10 in Canton, where he trained under several Kung Fu masters. Growing up, he took an interest in bodybuilding and later became Mr. Hong Kong's bodybuilding champion. He held the title for 10 years. Because of his muscular physique, he was chosen for several bad guy roles in films produced by Shaw Brothers Studios, such as The Heroic Ones, The Deadly Duo, Angry Guest, and others. During the 1970s and 1980s, Young starred in numerous martial arts films, but his breakout film was Bloodsport. Shot on a 1.5 million USD budget, it became a box office hit in the spring of 1988. Jean-Claude Van Damme had the leading role of Frank Dux, while Jung played the role of Chong Lee. C is also known his collaborations with Jean-Claude Van Damme in Double Impact, as well as other numerous appearances and a long career in Hong Kong martial arts films. His last notable film role was in 2007. Jung made an appearance in Blizzny Boy, The Ultimate Fighter. However, due to other commitments, he could not complete the remaining part of the film. Zhang Ziyi. Zhang Ziyi is a Chinese actress, model, and former dancer. Zhang made her acting debut in the television film Touching Starlight. After her breakout role in Zhang Yimou's The Road Home, which won her the Best Actress Award at the 2000 Flowers Awards, she gained international recognition for her performance in the wuxia martial arts film Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Zhang made her Hollywood debut in 2001 opposite Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker in the action comedy film Rush Hour 2. That year, she also starred as a princess in the historical drama film Musa. She has also appeared in top films like Hero, opposite Kung Fu star Jet Li, and House of Flying Daggers, opposite Andy Lau. For her work in 2046, she won Best Actress at the 2005 Hong Kong Film Awards. In 2013, after featuring on The Grandmaster, she won 12 different Best Actress Awards to become the most awarded Chinese actress for a single film. Zheng Ziyi remains active in the industry, although she has transitioned into directing. In 2021, Zhang made her directorial debut with a short titled Shy, one of the four standalone short tales of the film My Country, My Parents. She won the Best New Director Award at the 2022 Media Honors for the film. Jason Scott Lee Jason Scott Lee is an American actor and martial artist known for playing Mowgli 
in Disney's 1994 live-action adaptation of The Jungle Book, and Bruce Lee in the 1993 martial arts film Dragon, The Bruce Lee Story. Lee started his acting career with small roles in Born in East L.A. and Back to the Future, Part II. In 1990, he appeared in the television film The Lookalike. In 1992, he played his first leading role in the romantic drama Map of the Human Heart. He became famous in 1993 after portraying Bruce Lee in the biopic Dragon, The Bruce Lee Story. Lee went on to appear in several direct-to-video films such as Dracula II, Ascension, Time Cop 2, The Berlin Decision, and The Prophecy Forsaken. Lee has trained in Bruce Lee's martial art Jeet Kune Do since portraying Lee and continues to train and became a certified instructor under former Bruce Lee student Jerry Petit. Jason Lee is still very active in the film industry, continuing to take on roles that showcase his martial arts abilities. In 2021, Lee starred in the Disney Plus series Doogie Kamealoha, Maryland, a reboot of Doogie Howser, Maryland. His most recent appearance was in the 2022 film Boon Huang Jung Lee. Huang Jung Lee is a Korean martial artist and actor best known for his Hong Kong martial arts films. He is a ninth Dan Grandmaster in Tang Soo Do and Taekwondo who began training in 1957. Before his acting career, Huang was a martial arts instructor for the Korean military in Vietnam. Huang began his acting career in 1974. In 1976, he was offered employment in Hong Kong by Ung Si Yuen, where he appeared in the Kung Fu film Secret Rivals as the villain Silver Fox, a role he reprised in several other films, most notably Secret Rivals 2. He became popular for appearing in the films Drunken Master and Snake in the Eagle's Shadow opposite Jackie Chan and Hitman in the Hand of Buddha, which marked his directorial debut. He collaborated with Corey Ewan on several films, including Snuff Bottle Connection, Secret Rivals 2, The Invincible Armor, Dance of the Drunk Mantis, Ninja in the Dragon's Den, and Millionaire's Express. His other films include Hell's Windstaff, Two Fists Against the Law, Buddha Assassinator, and Game of Death 2. Huang retired from acting at age 51 in July 1996. However, he returned to acting and appeared in the 2009 TV series, The Return of Iljimai. Huang is currently a martial arts instructor with the World Tang Soo Do General Federation and serves as a technical advisor. If you are enjoying this video, appreciate it by giving it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Stephen Chow. Stephen Chow is a Hong Kong filmmaker, former actor, and comedian, known for his mole tao style, comic timing, and stunts. Chow began his career as an extra for Rediffusion Television. Around 1980, he applied for TVB's famous artist training course, but was rejected and became an office assistant for a shipping company. He then started appearing in TV shows as host of the TVB Jade Children's Program 430 Space Shuttle. After appearing in many Hong Kong television series, Chow got his first major breakthrough in the 1989 comedy series The Final Combat. He then starred in the 1991 action comedy film Fight Back to School, which became one of the highest grossing films of all time in Hong Kong. He later reprised his role in its sequels. Chow made his directorial debut in 1994. Before Chow became a full-time filmmaker, he made his final film acting performance in the 2008 science fiction comedy drama film, CJ7. In 2001, Chow directed and starred in the sports comedy film, Shaolin Soccer, which had a successful worldwide theatrical run and brought Chow into the North American mainstream. This commercial success was followed by the 2004 martial arts action comedy, Kung Fu Hustle, which grossed over $100 million. Even comedian Bill Murray said that the film was the supreme achievement of the modern age in terms of comedy. Chow's last film is the 2019 film, The New King of Comedy. Despite his inactivity in the film industry, he remains a respected figure in the martial arts community. Chung Pei Pei. Chung Pei Pei was a Hong Kong-American actress who started her career in 1963 
and was considered cinema's first female action hero. She made her film debut in the 1965 film The Lotus Lamp. Chung followed this with her first female lead role in the Taiwanese drama film Lovers Rock. Due to her Mandarin skills and dance background, she quickly worked her way up in the Hong Kong film industry at a time when Mandarin language productions commanded higher budgets and wider distribution than Cantonese works. Chung became popular for starring in the Hong Kong wuxia film Come Drink With Me, directed by King Hu, playing a skilled swordswoman on a mission to rescue her brother. However, she retired from acting and moved to the United States after marrying. Chung successfully returned to acting in the 1990s in Hong Kong with the comedy Flirting Scholar. After returning, she featured in other films like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Her notable international credits included the action film Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li, the British drama Lilting, the Canadian drama Meditation Park, and Disney's live-action remake of Mulan, being her last film role. In 2019, Chung was diagnosed with corticobasal degeneration, but chose to keep the diagnosis private. Sadly, she died on the 17th of July, 2024, at the age of 78. Jiang Wen is a Chinese actor, screenwriter, and director. Jiang's debut role was in the film The Last Empress. He then starred in Hibiscus Town, directed by Xi Jin. His role as an intellectual revolutionary earned him the Best Actor Award at the Hundred Flowers Awards. Jiang once again paired with Hibiscus Town co-star in the film Chun Tao, directed by Ling Zifeng. Jiang was cast in Zhang Yimou's debut film Red Sorghum. He also performed in the France-Chinese film Tears of the Bridal Sedan and his first commercial film The Trial. Apart from film, he has performed in many television series, becoming especially known for his role in the 1992 television series A Native of Beijing in New York. The television series made him one of the most popular Chinese actors of his generation. Jiang is still very active in the film industry. He co-starred in the Star Wars anthology film Rogue One, released in December 2016, and the 2018 film Hidden Man. Since then, he has not featured in any movie, however, he is set to return to the small screen in the historical drama Cao Cao, Gordon Liu. Sin Kam He, popularly known as Gordon Liu, is a Chinese actor and martial artist best known for his martial arts films. Gordon Liu entered the Hong Kong film industry as a stuntman. His early acting credits include minor roles in several Hong Kong kung fu films, including the Shaw Brothers produced five Shaolin Masters. He went on to appear in many Shaw Brothers films, such as Challenge of the Masters, in which he portrayed the folk hero Wong Fei Hung, executioners from Shaolin, and the 36th Chamber of Shaolin, in which he played the lead role of Shaolin hero San Te, Dirty Ho, returned to the 36th Chamber, Marshall Club, the Eight Diagram Pole Fighter, and Disciples of the 36th Chamber. Liu made his American film debut in 2003. He played two roles in Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill films, Johnny Mo, the leader of the crazy 88 Yakuza gang in Volume 1, and Kung Fu master Pai Mei in Volume 2. Gordon Liu is no longer active in the film industry. In August 2011, Liu had a stroke and canceled all public engagements in March 2012. His last credited film role was in the 2013 film, High Kickers. In 2020, Liu was inducted into the Martial Arts History Museum Hall of Fame. Winston Chow. Winston Chow is a Taiwanese actor who became popular for his performance in the 1993 film, The Wedding Banquet and Kabali. His role in The Wedding Banquet, directed by Ang Lee, showcased his acting range and earned him international recognition. He has also appeared in action films such as Once Upon a Time in China, where he shared the screen with Jet Li, contributing to the film's legacy as a martial arts classic. Angela Mao Angela Mao is a Taiwanese actress and martial artist who appeared in martial arts films in the 1970s. One of the most prominent martial artist actresses of her time, she is nicknamed Lady Whirlwind and Lady Kung Fu. She is known as the female version of Bruce Lee, 
Mao's first film role was in Lady Whirlwind. She also trained alongside Sammo Hung and Carter Wong in the Korean martial art of Hapkido for a lead role in a film of the same name, also featuring their Hapkido master, Jin Han Jai. Her final film for Golden Harvest was Broken Oath, and after her contract expired, she returned to Taiwan and for the next five years continued to make kung fu movies. Her last film role was in the 1992 film Ghost Bride. She retired from acting in 1992 to devote herself to her family. She moved to New York City in 1993, where she and her family run three restaurants. Wu Jing. Wu Jing is a Chinese martial artist, actor, and director, known for his exceptional skills in martial arts. He started his martial arts training at a young age. Wu Jing made his film debut starring as Jackie in the 1996 film Tai Chi Boxer. Since then, Wu has appeared in numerous mainland Chinese wuxia television series. He became popular for his role in SPL Sha Po Lang, where his intense fight scenes showcased his martial arts prowess and dramatic acting skills. In March 2008, Wu made his directorial debut alongside action choreographer Nikki Lee in his film Legendary Assassin. His top films include The Man of Tai Chi, which he directed and starred in, Wolf Warrior, and its sequel, Wolf Warrior II, which became one of the highest grossing films in Chinese cinema history. Wu Jing is still active in the film industry. In 2023, he starred in several movies including The Wandering Earth 2, Ride On, Meg 2, The Trench, and Ping Pong, The Triumph. David Chang. David Chung is a Hong Kong actor, director, producer, and martial artist. As a well-known martial arts actor, formerly from Shaw Brothers Studio in the 1970s, he has appeared in over 130 films and 30 television series. Chang began his acting career as a child actor at age four. In 1966, while working as a stuntman and fight instructor for the Shaw Brothers Studio, Chang was spotted by director Chang Che, who immediately saw his potential and screen presence and became his mentor. Chang gave him the stage name David Chang. In 1970, under Chang Che's guidance, Chang won the Best Actor Award at the 16th Asia Pacific Film Festival for his role in Vengeance. In 1972, at the 18th Asia Pacific Film Festival, he won Best Actor for his role in Blood Brothers. In 1973, at the 19th Asia Pacific Film Festival, he won the Most Contemporary Award for his role in The Generation Gap. In 1980, he made his television debut in The Green Dragon Conspiracy, followed by Princess Chang Ping and Dynasty. Since 2000, he has continued to work in movies and TV series, including Election, Daisy, Revolving Doors of Vengeance, Lethal Weapons of Love and Passion, Land of Wealth, The Family Link, and the 2007 television series, The Gem of Life. He was nominated for Best Supporting Actor in 2006 for his role in the TV series Revolving Doors of Vengeance. Currently, David Chang is no longer active in the industry. His last film role was in the 2019 film Jade Dynasty. Mark DeCascos. Mark DeCascos is an American actor, martial artist, and television personality. His father, Al DeCascos, is a martial arts instructor who was inducted into the Martial Arts History Museum Hall of Fame in 1999. DeCascos became an actor after being discovered walking down the street in San Francisco's Chinatown by Chris Lee. His breakout role was in the 1993 film Only the Strong, in which he played Louie, a capoeira master who takes a high school struggling students and turns their lives around by teaching them the Brazilian martial art based on the ritual combat technique of Angola. He is known for his roles in action films, including Louis Stevens in Only the Strong, the title role in Crying Freeman, Mani in Brotherhood of the Wolf, for which he was nominated for the Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actor, Ling in Cradle to the Grave, Sharish in Nomad, and as the Assassin Zero in John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum. Mark remains active in the film industry. He reprised his role as the chairman of the Iron Chef series in Iron Chef, Quest for an Iron Legend, which was released on Netflix in June 2022. In 2023, he starred in the film Knights of the Zodiac. James Liu. James Liu is an American martial artist, stuntman, and actor. 
He has made 80 on-screen film and television appearances and 46 more as a stunt coordinator or stunt double. He won a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Stunt Coordination for his work on the series Luke Cage. He started studying martial arts at the age of 14 when he began taking classes in Tang Soo Do and Choi Li Foot. In the 1970s, he co-founded the Sil Lung Kung Fu demo team with Al Leong and Douglas Lim Wong and won several championships in martial arts forms. In 1976, he got a role as a guard in the John Cassavetes film, The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. Lou also had a role in Kill Point, an action film directed by Frank Harris and starring Leo Fong, Richard Roundtree, Cameron Mitchell, and Stack Pierce. In 2017, he acted in the sci-fi film Star Raiders, The Adventures of Saber Rain, directed by Mark Stephen Grove. His last film role was in the 2019 film, American Bistro. Lee Hoi Sang. Lee Hoi Sang was a Hong Kong martial arts film actor and a master of Wing Chun boxing. He served as a martial arts instructor starting in his early years. During the 1970s and 1980s, he often utilized his Kung Fu expertise playing martial arts roles as well as other supporting roles on Asian TV dramas. He is known for his roles in the 36th Chamber of Shaolin, Shaolin Challenges Ninja, The Incredible Kung Fu Master, The Young Master, The Prodigal Son, Project A, Shaolin and Wu Tang, and Disciples of the 36th Chamber, alongside actors such as Jackie Chan, Gordon Liu, Samo Hung, Yuan Biao, and Bolo Young. Lee was a disciple of Yip Man, learning Wing Chun from him and later teaching it. Unfortunately, he died on September 9, 2024, at the age of 83. Seo Wong Fan Louis Fan Seo Wong is a Hong Kong actor and martial artist. Fan made his debut in Stanley Tong's Stone Age Warriors in 1991. In 1992, at the age of 18, Fan portrayed the titular character in Riki O, oh, The Story of Riki, a Hong Kong film based on the manga Riki O. Oh. One of his most memorable film performances in the 2000s was as Jin Shan Zhao, the tough northern martial artist in the 2008 martial arts film IP Man, which starred Donnie Yen as Wing Chun Grandmaster IP Man. Fan's performance in IP Man earned him a nomination for Best Supporting Actor at the 28th Hong Kong Film Awards in 2009. He reprised his role as Jin Shan Zhao in IP Man 2, the 2010 sequel to IP Man. He also portrayed a new character in The Legend is Born, IP Man, another movie about Yip Man that is unrelated to IP Man and IP Man 2. In 2018, Fan made his Hollywood movie debut in the film Attrition, starring alongside Steven Seagal. Fan's last film role was four years ago, in the 2020 film Taoist Master, Biao Yuan. Yuan Biao is a Hong Kong actor, martial artist, and stuntman. Yuan Biao is regarded as one of the most acrobatic martial artists ever and has also worked on over 80 films as an actor, stuntman, and action choreographer. He was one of the Seven Little Fortunes from the China Drama Academy at the Peking Opera School, along with Sammo Hung and Jackie Chan. Yuan began work as a stuntman and extra in the early 1970s. After working on Fist of Fury and Way of the Dragon, Yuan became a stunt double for Bruce Lee on Enter the Dragon in 1973. He was also one of the fake Bruce Lees in Game of Death, performing the acrobatics and stunts that the Bruce Lee body double was unable to perform. Yuan continued working as a stuntman, doubling for actors in Hong Kong action films and taking on supporting actor roles. Biao's first significant film role was in The Prodigal Son, which not only highlighted his skill as a martial artist, but also earned him fame for his acting. He went on to star in a series of successful films including Dreadnought, Wheels on Meals, and Eastern Condors. His collaboration with Jackie Chan and Sammo Hung in films like Project A and Dragons Forever solidified his place as one of the top martial artists in Hong Kong cinema. Although Yuan Biao has taken fewer film roles in recent years, he remains active in the industry, with his most recent appearances being in the 2016 film, The Bodyguard. Which of these kung fu stars was your favorite? 
Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.